Hey guys, it is NCSFan001 here for the road to my 512th Platinum Trophy. Today's game was the PS Vita version of LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 through 7. Uh, this was a very fun LEGO game, especially by Vita standards. It's one of the better ones on the Vita, with the exception of the amount of dueling you have to do that gets very repetitive and kind of boring over time. But otherwise, it's a pretty solid game. It took me about two weeks to get the Platinum playing on and off, but the Platinum itself only takes about 10 to 11 hours, so it's not really all that time-consuming. So to get the Platinum, you have to win every single duel in the dueling championship category, whatever you want to call it. It's like there's a whiteboard or chalkboard that you go up to in Hogwarts, and you have to beat every single enemy in every single category. And there's probably, there's between 50 and 100 of them. There's a lot. And with every duel, you win in one of two ways. You either spam the square button until you win, or you just basically play tennis by reflecting the enemy's shots back at him repeatedly. I mean, that's all you have to do. It's not difficult at all to win. It just, it takes a very long time just because there's so many people you have to beat. So, in all honesty, they could have done with fewer duels and fewer, I guess, dueling categories and such. I mean, it's not, again, it's not hard at all. It's just, it's a very time-consuming extra thing that without the whole dueling club, you would have this Platinum in eight hours, which would be one of the fastest in the entire franchise. So, 100% the game is pretty typical. You have to do all of the duels, but you also have to finish every single thing in every level, but there's not very many collectibles in the game. There's only 14 levels. So, we'll get more into that in a second. You're going to get four trophies just for completing the main story of the game. Uh, every movie except for Deathly Hallows Part 1 has four levels. Deathly Hallows Part 1 only has two levels, so a total of 14. You have to find all of the red bricks. There's one in every level for a total of 14. Those are your typical cheats. The characters, there's about 100 characters probably. Maybe not that many, but there's about 100 or so. Quite a few characters. You have to find their character tokens as well as win all the duels and then purchase them to get this trophy. Then you have to win a duel without taking damage. That one's pretty much unmissable. You have to win a duel using only Protego, so just reflect shots back at your opponent. That's how you're going to win a lot of fights later on anyway. Then you have to beat Voldemort in any fight without taking damage. I don't know if this can be done in Dueling Club, but I know that it can be done during the story. I did it during the very last mission of Order of the Phoenix. Then, as Voldemort, you have to defeat Harry Potter. It just takes a while to unlock Voldemort. He's one of the later characters that you unlock. You have to bank a total of 100 million studs, which is very easy once you get all of the red bricks and the brick multipliers. You have to defeat one of every enemy. This one took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. I guess I missed, like, one enemy somewhere. But by the time I had finished my free play run, I managed to get it. So, I'm not sure exactly which enemy I was missing. But you may just want to look at like a list of all the enemies just to make sure that you don't really miss anything. This one requires you to use one of the spells, maybe Confundo or something, to make an enemy attack another one, or Imperius or something like that. I don't remember which one this is, maybe Lumos, hitting someone with Lumos. Then you have to find all of the mini kits. There are around four to five per level, so that's just pretty typical. They're the sorting hat symbols in this game. You have to use Levicorpus, which I think is just hitting them basically with Wingardium Leviosa. I think that's how I got it. You have to beat Bellatrix without taking damage as Molly Weasley during the final battle. So this is during the final level of the game. This is a very level-specific trophy. So you're going to want to be a little bit careful with that one. Just focus on using the whole Protego Deflect tactic and knocking the spells back at them. Then you have to win another match in Dueling Club. There's a lot of trophies like this where you just have to win something in the Dueling Club. You have to use Confundo on Creature in this specific level. This is in Order of the Phoenix. Uh, this is going to be required to get one of the red bricks. Then fill the stud meter. You actually don't have to do it in every level unless you're going for the 100%, which you will be for the Platinum Trophy. But it's obviously very easy once you get all the red bricks. This one has to do with those four-piece slide puzzles, not the parcel tongue puzzles or the Hermione book puzzles. Like, not really book, but Hermione-like puzzles where you're in front of the cabinet and you have to match the order. These are like slide puzzles. 
Then you have to select the Death Eater and attack someone at Hogwarts in the hub world. The hub world in this game is extremely small, by the way. It's only just like one tiny section of Hogwarts. There's hardly anything extra to deal with, which is... In a lot of ways, it's kind of nice. It means that there's nowhere near as much extra exploration to do. Though I am shocked there wasn't like one secret or like one character or something unlocked there. Uh, create a custom character. Very easy. Defeat Dumbledore's Draco in the Dueling Club. Very easy once you unlock him. Then you have to create your custom character and defeat both Lily and James Potter in the Dueling Club. Very easy. Uh, another Dueling Club trophy, very easy. This one, you have to use Confundo, or whatever the spell is, while in the final mission of the sixth movie. So, that would be Half-Blood Prince during the final level of that. And then finally, this one actually gave me just a little bit of trouble, because you have to hold square while on Draco's red spell, and then hit the R button while in that until you can select Tarantangula or Tarantallegra, whatever you want to call it. That one gave me a little bit of trouble. I actually had to look that one up to figure out exactly what you were supposed to do. But I mean, overall, the Platinum's extremely easy. It's not that time consuming. It's a Lego game. I mean, it's fun aside from just the extent of the dueling. They should have had maybe half to a third as many duels as they did. So, level 727, 31%, 20,577 total trophies, 512 platinums, 3,016 golds, 5,527 silvers, 11,522 bronzes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you for the next one.